to that. Thanks, Kristen. People in Beaverton are tackling the homeless issue tonight, especially when it comes to children and the lack of a shelter there. Here's more now from our Cole Miller. It was bad. I mean, we were couch jumping from house to house, sleeping in cars, motels. For six months, Sandra Aguilar was homeless while going to Sunset High. I stopped going to school. I dropped out. There's a lot of kids here who feel alone, and to have a shelter for them to rely on would be really nice. But Beaverton doesn't have one. Good thing I have help. All right. If you want to catch it on the other side? Yeah. How's that? Looks good. So tonight, tents are popping up near the library to call attention to just that. It's out here, people don't want to show that they're homeless. And here, the focus is on just how many kids are without a permanent home. Until it strikes home or until you really see it yourself, you don't really necessarily feel it. Now, here are some numbers for you. As of today, Shelter Us Beaverton says there are more than 1,200 homeless youth within the Beaverton School District, the highest number in the state. Of those, 62 are unsheltered, 281 are living on their own. That impacts your learning and your future, how you think about yourself, your self esteem, um, everything. And all of those things are important to growing up and becoming a whole person. I'm told it would take roughly 18 months, $85,000, and some kind of building just to get a shelter up and running. City Councilwoman Kate Arnold. At the city level, we don't have a lot of those kind of dollars to do things with. So we have to look to our neighbors, we have to look to the community, and hopefully we can put some things together. She tells me the closest shelter is in Tigard and that many just can't travel there. And she's not worried about having the homeless seek help. It's not like this is going to be a great haven for everyone, so I'm not afraid of that myself personally. As for Aguilar, she graduated this past winter. I'm really proud to say that I'm back on track. Now she's eyeing a career in law or the military, and she knows how much good a shelter could do here. In Beaverton, Cole Miller, Coin 6 News.